Sex dolls are infiltrating the U.S. Actress Stacey Dash goes after Oprah Winfrey. Lifetime is planning for a new royal movie. Kim and Kanye welcome their new addition. The NAACP has a new crop of winners. And we have our photo of the week and more, so stay tuned. Welcome to What's the 4 in 1, your smart source for urban and lifestyle and entertainment news. I'm Kizzy Cox. I'm Onika McLean. Oh my gosh, and this is our first show of 2018. Oh, God, yes. my gosh. We missed you so much. Yes, we oh my did. Gosh. Yes, we did. Yes, we did. And you've been doing some big things. Been doing yeah. a lot of stuff with comedy and stuff like that. Yes, my cosmic comedy is going to the moon. I'm going to do some stuff with... Um, um, black Girls Rock, Black Girls Magic. I'm going to do a bunch Ooh. of stuff like that. I'm going to showcase some black females in comedy. Oh, that's I got like all these good plans. I love it. I love amazing. it. Amazing. It is amazing. I'm planning to do like take some more risk myself. What are you doing? I'm seeing it. And, uh, on your media. Like, I know, you know, it will all be revealed. This, this <laughs> chick <laughs> always want to keep a secret. What I'll do <laughs> is just hit me up on my social media, Ask Onika or uh, uh, Anika McLean um, on Facebook, and I'll just add you to her stuff, and then you can see all the stuff that she's doing, oh okay? Gosh. But we really And you hit us up in the comments about what you guys are doing differently for 2018. We yes. want to hear from you. Yes, yes, right? hit us up in your yeah. comments. What's yeah. the 411? We, we want to, this really interactive this year, really interactive this year, and we're going to yeah. make an effort, and we know that you guys are going to make an effort, and it's yeah. just going to be amazeballs. 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 Yes, amaze. You guys Start Beautiful. talking about balls and stuff because these <laughs> sex dolls and stuff. Okay, we okay. got a whole bunch of stuff. Okay, from. so you look jumping the gun, but all right, we're gonna get started with some quick takes. So Kim and Kanye West welcome their new baby daughter by surrogate, and it's a couple's third child. Guess what the name is? Chicago West. Chicago <laughs> West. Chicago West. So it's like Saint. What is it? North Saint. Saint. In Chicago. Chicago. North St. Chicago. North St. Chicago. What? I, I, listen, they're rich. That's all I'm going to say. They're rich. Yes. Okay. Chicago. Chicago. Whatever. Okay. <laughs> it, just is, it just is what it is. So, mm -hmm. um, it's this little girl, right? 10 years old. Her name is Gabrielle Goodwin, right? Mm -hmm. She is not only 10 years old, she is the CEO of her own company. What? Yeah, it's like a barack company. She has a patent that she holds. She a patent at 10 years old? <laughs> Listen, I've been doing something wrong with my life. It's, <laughs> it's called Gabby Bowles. It's called Gabby Bowles. Okay. And it's in all 50 states. Wow. I don't know. She designed these hair barrettes. And, um, like, kudos to you. Yeah, that's what kudos we call black girl magic. Mm -hmm. Yes, Gabrielle. And then Love she it. holds these, like, little play dates. Where t she teaches girls how to, like, do hair and stuff from at shelters. Really? That is so beautiful. That's really, that's a really good way to give back too. So black baby, black baby magic. <laughs> good for you, baby. All right. So Ryan Coogler says he wasn't ready to direct the movie Black Panther until he visited Africa. Why? What happened in Africa? I think he just got reconnected with his roots and he felt more, you know, Bale, Ale, more, Bale, more Bale, 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 Bale. <laughs> in the jungle, the mighty no, jungle. No, I, Okay, so okay, yeah. So are you plan are you planning to see Black Panther? Are you gonna see? Heck to the yeah. Okay, yeah. Heck Me to too. the yeah. Me too. I can't wait. Go to Wakanda. Did you see Hidden Figures yet? Yeah. Did you get, time okay, ago. okay. Because I'm gonna say because remember we talked about it before. That okay. was when it first came out. Okay, sorry. <gasps> Just, but you have to go if you're gonna go see Black Pan. Black Panther, please, people, see it at the first weekend. See it during the first oh, weekend. Oh, yeah, to boost up the numbers. those numbers. Yeah, yeah, see it the first weekend. Okay, speaking of, like, awards and images mm -hmm. and NAACP awards, Halle Berry. Yes. Mm -hmm. Hollywood royalty. She turned heads with her scantily clad gown. Yes. Ooh, I mean, so, <laughs> it was it was like a sheer rim arc. Yeah. What, who's arc? Acra? Acra? Yeah. <laughs> What's the last name? Say it. Say. Reem Acra. Reem Acra. You know I have pronunciation problems. She don't. She don't. I really do. I Sometimes, know. really. You know, okay. So, so it was like you. I mean, you're gonna see the the well, photo and the, the bio. You're gonna see the right photo. It's right now. You see the yeah. photos right now. But yeah. you see that you can see part of her behind. And I'm, but it's just a little sliver, man. It's not like the whole. It's not you know. But fifty year old ass, like, if you still got it flaunted. That's, That's what feel? I'm saying. Yes. If she looked bad, then I'd be like, no, listen, she doesn't look bad. hang it up. Like, like Wendy. Wendy Williams with the 20-year-old <laughs> No, like but, but 
that you know what I'm saying? That you ain't cover that up. You but know, Halle Berry. I just think you know what it is about Halle. And and when Tony Braxton tried to do that, when she thought tried to come out like extra, extra sexy after she had like her kids and stuff, there's a certain element of sophistication that I expect from Halle Berry. Okay. You know? okay. I don't want to well, see Halle Berry crap. I'm sorry. I see what you're saying in that. In that. She's Halle Berry. Like, you know, I, I just see her, you know, accepting her Oscar. And I just don't yeah, see she's, her you know, crap. she's yeah. kind of that. She does give off that. She's bad in my mind. You know, that's, Rihanna's the butt crack. Who, who, yeah, Rihanna's the butt, because she's 20-something. But who else? But, tell me about the Image Awards. Come on, who else is there? Oh, girl? Lord. Okay. So, speaking of the Image Awards, Ava DuVernay mm -hmm. won the Entertainer of the Year Award. So she beat out she beat out Issa Rae, Chadwick Boseman, Bruno Mars, Chance the Rapper, and Jay-Z. So, more black girl magic. I love that girl. You know what? That whole lad line. I'm just really loving 2018. Right? I am just really loving it. Right? We're I getting mean, walls. You know, and even look, even Jordan Peele just got nominated mm -hmm. for Best Oscar, Best Director. Best film with Get, Get Out. Out. Get Out. Yeah, and mm -hmm. best original screenplay for Get Out. And um, Daniel Kaluuya. So Get one for um, nominated for best actor as well. So doing really? big, it's amazing. He it said is. he went into the ugly cry when yeah. he heard. Yeah, that's what they <laughs> you know the ugly cry is, right? <laughs> so yeah. wait a minute. So there's going to be a biopic, right? Is it a biopic? Mm -hmm. It's going to be um, Prince Harry. And Meghan Markle, right? Meghan so, Markle, yeah. Marco, Markle. Mm -hmm. um, she, uh, Lifetime's having a movie about them guys. So I don't be... know, man. What? Lifetime, I don't know. Sometimes it just messes up these biopics. I don't know. Is don't know. It, if, if it's approved, it's going to be amazing. You know what I'm saying? I think that sometimes when they don't get the proper clearances that that's the issue. What, what do you guys no, think? Sometimes. Let us know. What do you guys think? Yeah. What do you think about sex toys? What kind of sex toys? It's <laughs> a <is the> question. <laughs> like, mm, I don't know. Feathers, whips, chains. I don't, I don't know. know. Spice things up. Depends. So well, what you what you got? So these <laughs> remember the story that we did about six months ago. We were so ahead of the curve, guys. Like you got to give it to us. Yeah. We talked about the Japanese sex dolls, right? Yeah. And I kept saying the man was crazy. The man was crazy. Mm -hmm. The man was crazy. And I should listen to her, but I always think that she's the like the lone wolf in the wind just crying out. But guess what? She was right. She was right. Because they're on our shores now. Yes. These, these oh God. sex dolls. Oh God. The sex dolls stand about five five. They weigh about a hundred and fifty. Do they weigh? They, they, they have, they, they, they have weight. Like, yeah, they have weight. Because when you're picking them up and doing kind of stuff with them. It's not light. It wouldn't work. Yeah, so if they have weight, okay. they have weight, and they're here on our shores for $2,000. Oh, my gosh. Oh, so can you get them, like, in different, you know, colors? Ethnicities? And yeah. yeah. Big boobs, no cellulite, big butts. Like, and I'm like, what in the world is going on? The vagina is removable so that you can wash it. <laughs> These dudes then thought of everything. I told you women wow. with this damn people white stuff. Equal right. I want equal. I, want, I can't I, believe that. Get out. So you can actually wash it. So it's okay. And it's simple. Like you just like click something and it just comes out. And it, you have to wash the whole so dog. I mean, the thing is, this is the thing. What's the point? Like why? Like why? <gasps> why dildos? What do you mean why? Because they're sick of you bitches talking. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I, just, I, I told you when you were going to ruin it. I told no, you were going to oh ruin it. Oh my gosh. No, like. I just, I don't, no, no. Because you think they're going to fall in love with the sex dolls? Well, like they did in Japan. That's, but that's guess, what's going to happen. guess what's going to happen, guys? This is what's going to happen. You mark my words. They're going to have your sex dolls um, deemed, like, emotionally attachable to you, right? So, I mean, men make the laws. So, what, like, how do they have service dogs? Now, okay. Look at service dogs, right? You can deem service dogs, like, for your emotional, yeah, emotional stability, yeah. right? It's going to be the same thing with these sex dolls. No, man. Yeah, no. you will see. No. You, they, no. you will see. These sex dolls no. will be in the home. In the home. No. No. Apart, yeah. You'll no. see. No. You'll see. No. You'll see. No. Ask a man. Men. No, I all think, the men okay, I think. All the men, sorry, give me one second. All the men, I want you to comment below. Just comment below and let me... Just let me know what you think about sex dolls. Like, if it's in your 
house, it's not like they're just going out, you know, taking it to the movies like the Japanese guys are. But it's just one step away. Women, I want you to also comment <laughs> below in the comments. Let us know how you feel about having a sex doll in your house. Oh, you want to know what I feel about having a sex doll oh, in my house? I remember what you said last time. It would be tough. Oh, God. It would be ridiculous. Oh, He'll be like, get off my doll. <laughs> I'll be tearing her ass up. She'd be serious. She'd be like, I don't recognize that command. I don't recognize that command. Girl, you are crazy. You no, are crazy. Watch. Welcome back to What's the 4 on 1. So, you heard about Monique and how she was offered $500,000. Yeah. On, for her Netflix special, right? Mm -hmm. And so because of that, she was like, you know what? No, it's not enough. You're lowballing me, and so you should boycott. And she was giving that, you know, to everybody. Boycott Netflix because she wasn't getting paid enough money. So people came for her edges. You knew they would because it's Monique. So my question is, do you think that she has a point? That she should be getting paid more money? And, and are you willing to boycott Netflix because she's not? What does that mean? Uh, cancel my subscription? Yes, that's what she's talking about. She's calling I people. I already canceled my direct TV subscription. I ain't gonna be able to watch nothing. No, I use <laughs> Netflix to, to study comedy. So no, I will not be. Uh -huh. but, but as a comedian though. Okay, as a comedian, I, I saw her video and as a lay person that makes a certain amount of money, I was like, what is she talking about? That seems like a lot of money. Why was she cursing out Oprah? What's going on? You know, mm -hmm. is Monique bugging out? That's what I thought, right? Yeah, because Amy Schumer got, I believe it was $10 million. 11, and then she renegotiated more. So, mm -hmm. that's a lot of money. That's even, what is that? Not even 10%. And then and then Dave Chappelle 5%. got 20, and Chris Rock got 20. So, but then again, those are much bigger stars, not for nothing. But they, but but then it's so is it Netflix's fault, right? So you asked me the question, I am going to answer it. But is it let Netflix Netflix's fault? Let me tell you why. Because um, um, girls trip, right? Right. Black females, comic, you know, comedic right. time and all that stuff. Nobody anticipated that girls trip would do a hundred million dollars right. because it, black it. women block box office. You know, I guess we don't support it like we should. And so, I think it, we supported. I think well, we, no, no, we, we support no, hard. No, we did support um, Girls Trip, but but going out to the movies and cinema and stuff like that, we don't come out in droves in numbers, and numbers, and so the we money do. is I not there. Do. I think we do. We do. I, I don't. Well, we that, do. well, it's, that, just not, it's just a matter of Hollywood not really promoting that, not really putting money into those those directors who are going to put out those types of movies. Really? That's what I think it is. Yeah, maybe, yeah. maybe well, well, me as the lay person, you know, I'm just getting into this industry. My thought is if they if you're not going to get paid on the comeback, and that's what Netflix was saying, that that's how much we think you're going to generate. We don't think that you're going to generate a big viewership, so he, this is our deal. Mm -hmm. Right, but I don't even. But if they did the same thing to Wanda Sykes, you said that they Wanda did Sykes the same thing to Wanda Sykes. They lowballed her ridiculously to the point where she was like, "I'm not even going to do this Netflix special. I'm going to take it someplace else." So she didn't even do it for them because they are lowballing black, black women. women. So why don't why doesn't Monique just go to HBO? Like that's the thing. I think that she's ostracizing herself by saying like, "Let's boycott." Like, like Jada Pinkett. Jada Pinkett had the same same um. Um, um, I back, did when backlash it was when she said, "Oh, let's let's boycott the Oscars, the Oscars. because yeah, he yeah." And everyone's like, "What are that. you talking about?" As or after you gave all that stuff, like society is not going to have um, sympathy for people that are already successful. You know what I mean? You know what it is though with Monique though. I think that Monique has an, a reputation now for being difficult, and so people are like, "Girl, sit down." I think that's really what you and you were seeing that a lot on social media too, where people were like, "Girl." You are not hot. I mean, yes, you but yes, she is hot. yes, you want yes, you want an Oscar. Yes, you can be funny, but you haven't had the type of like hits that a Dave Chappelle or Chris Rock has had, or even an Amy Schumer. Whether you think she's funny or not, but how yeah. Dave Chappelle? So how is Dave Chappelle so much more advanced than than Monique? Think about think about their their um, resumes. Think about their resumes, guys. Dave Chappelle had had the Chappelle Show. And and what was the other one? Half baked or something? Was yeah, it? it was a show from like the nineties or something. Okay, and what else? So hey, people were people were willing. People are willing. So what to do pay. you mean? And that's the thing. Why? So I think she does have a point. 
that yes, black women are undervalued. Right? Yes. But I don't think she's going about it the right way in terms of saying, oh, there should be a boy. People are not going to boycott because she's not, A, I don't think a lot of people want to sacrifice, you know, watching their shows. Yeah, they're $11.99 a month. You know what I'm saying? They're not going to sacrifice the show, which is terrible. But I also think that Monique is not necessarily one at this point that people are rallying around like they would have before. And if we want to boycott something, boycott something like police brutality, boycott oh this store because of like it has to be something more sustainable than yeah. than you not getting a check. You right. know what I'm trying to say? Not that you shouldn't get a check because we all should have you know the same opportunities, right? right. But come on, we have really bigger problems. You're from Baltimore, like Baltimore. Sh should be your, you know, calling card if you well, think about it. Like, Baltimore looks like a third world country. So if we want to boycott any... It Baltimore does. is coming for you now. No, it's Baltimore not. Coming for Baltimore, you. I have friends that live in Baltimore mm -hmm. and not outside of the harbor, East Baltimore, West Baltimore, it's really still burnt out from the 70s. Like, let's, let's, let's keep it all in perspective here. That's what I want to say. Mm -hmm. All right. So you are not going to be giving up your Netflix for Monique's boy. But I do support Monique, but I think that when she came for Oprah's edges, like Oprah and Jesus, you don't really talk about <laughs> You leave that shit. Well, she, made, you know, she messed around with Tyler Perry and, you know. Tyler Perry's Oprah's boy so it's, and Lee Daniels and Oprah. And so now it seems as if Monique just, you know, screams and yells when she doesn't get her way, and that may not be the case. And I probably that's think what I'm it, saying, that I she's probably not think that it's person. not the case. I don't think that she's that kind of person. I don't I don't know what it is about Monique. I guess Monique kind of made me fall in love with comedy. Mm -hmm. So Oh really? I didn't know yeah, that. Yeah, like so, like so you see the Parkers and just jumping around mm -hmm. and, and single mom and mm -hmm. school. Okay. It was like dope. So my real thought is Monique go to mm. HBO. Go to Showtime, go to Hulu. She's not gonna like, get. She's not gonna get millions of dollars. Well, she can't get millions of dollars because, she, because of you know the backlash. Well, she needs to. She needs to, you know, work her way back up into Hollywood's good graces. I and think just it's the do husband. Thing. I think it's that new husband or something. But she needs to get herself back out there because Monique is incredibly talented. She's funny and she's a great actress. So it's really a shame to see. She's this not happened. going down. That, that's a fighter. She, yeah, definitely, definitely. Lifestyle. Welcome back to What's the 411 now. We haven't done this in a while. So I'm going to get have to season you guys up with a little pepper pot, a little curry goat, a little jerk sauce, a little iry. A little wind up. You didn't even say roti. You didn't even say roti. And it's on I Trini. Even, I don't even know what the hell that she's talking about. Roti? Roti with a D or with a T? Roti with a T. Okay, she's a she's a Trinidadian. And what they do is sing. <laughs> it's a long, long, slow ass song. Oh my okay, God. So now, without further ado, we have Gizzy <laughs> I don't, Cox know, I don't know what that is. in the um, Caribbean cook up <laughs> what you got in the pot. I don't know what again. accent that is. I don't know. It is a mix. Of, I don't know what it is, but. It's Jafakin. Extra. Rasta and pasta. <laughs> That I've been called. So, yeah. Yeah. That's what it is. But yes, you can't leave out the roti. You cannot leave out the roti. All right, so it's that time of year again. Carnival is coming. This is my favorite time of year. So, you know how last year we were talking about, you know, the culture and how, you know, it's very common for people to whine and it's not considered necessarily a sexual thing or whatever, what have you. But sometimes. I yeah, did not say that. I said, what? No, you, I said that. You were like, oh, it is. And I was like, no, it's not. So we are now in a new moment. This is the Me Too. Mo this is the Me Too moment, right? And so, you know, we're talking a lot about consent and all of that. So Trinidad is not sleeping on that. The police came and and gave a statement and said that if you wind on somebody without their consent, you can be arrested. Well, I'm going to yes. jail. <laughs> well, I'm going to jail because them girls be naked. Listen, listen. They said, you know. Ask before teeth and a wine. So, you so know, what you got to do? You just got to yeah. say, excuse me. 
Can I turn you on your head? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Thank you. You keep like you keep thinking and about it's like a jugger jugger. You jugger. keep thinking about Jamaica. It's not that we don't do the head thing. That's not really what we do in Trinidad. So so what'd you guys do? Like like stand up and give us a, a preview. Oh, of we are not doing that. No. Follow her. Well, I gotta be no, you gonna follow Instagram. me on Instagram. You're gonna see all that. <laughs> not here. She's been yeah. working out, doing lunges and squats. Okay. Yes. Are you gonna uh, let people thief wines? No, you're gonna ask. No, no, the thing is, the thing is, yes. I mean, if somebody comes and they start whining on you, you don't want to whine. You just move away. And they should respect that. The point, I think, also what the cops were saying is that people are not moving away. They're like chasing the woman, and the woman is clearly like, no, like, get off of me. So it's like, that's a problem. So they're trying to make that change in the culture, like, no, if you're not old or whine, or you're not supposed to. Like be up on the woman. It's not like she has to be. Even if she has on two feathers, it does not matter. She could be naked. No, she could be naked. She could be naked. I mean, not that they're saying like be naked, but the point is that's not That's why we have these sex dolls, fellas. Fellas, I get it. (laughs) I get it. Sick of these. I'm sick of this too. So this is what I think you guys should do when you go to um, Trinidad's Carnival. Get a waiver. Get a write out a waiver. Have a notary with you. Get one of your boys to become a notary. It's at, at 123 William Street. You can go take the notary test every Tuesday. Oh, my God. And then you can have them sign a paper. Oh, my gosh. Listen. You say, you listen, say ink this, this right the here. Thing is, what? Listen, the thing is, though, you don't, you really do want people to get it through their mind. They're not old a wine. Yes. Like, you're just not. It's like if somebody doesn't want to dance with you, they don't have to. And so that's So important. now the police gotta say that. So what are the police gonna do to make sure is, this doesn't that this is like this is gonna be secure? No, I don't think I don't think anybody's they're just making statements, the cops, they're just making random statements. No, no, I think I don't think the cops are gonna be watching people like, oh, you T for wine and no. They're not gonna be doing that. <laughs> what's the what's the criminal charge? <laughs> no, what they're gonna oh, do. Oh, it might be like they, lewd behavior. They said, they said, look. If, if they come to us, if a woman comes to us and says this person is harassing me, then they can be arrested. So it's about the woman saying, or, or, the, or the man, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes women can be very thirsty too. So, you know, and they could go and say to the cops, hey, this person is harassing me. And yes, they can be arrested. So people have things to say, right? So one woman said, timely for carnival, a whining guide for people who may not grasp boundaries and the concept of personal space and consent. So that was one woman, but then the guys had something else. The guy, of course. They're like, okay, go in and start complaining to the cops. Women are thirsty as hell out here too. <laughs> then somebody else said, man, if a woman you don't want to whine on you starts backing up on you or approaching you from the front to whine on you, feel free to also <laughs> report as needed. Don't report. It works me. both ways. Don't, it does not work both ways. <laughs> this is what you guys need to do for carnival. Bring your sex dolls. Get your sex dolls. Get a good Rihanna outfit. Get a put her in a wheelchair and roll her ass around. <laughs> you ain't never gonna get a wine again from anybody. Roll her around. Roll the sex doll around in Trinidad Carnival. This is getting ridiculous. No, no. No, humanity is going to stop. You guys no, have to stop. How? Oh, no one's gonna touch each other. The guys are gonna be with the sex doll. No. We're gonna be with each as other. As long as they ask, or if they can take no for an answer, it's Who all good. Who says ask? Can I whine it's, with it's you? I, I've never. No, had because any. you can even no, have they someone gra- no. like, grab your waist. No, right. Even if they just touch your hand and you're like, no, nah, I'm sorry, no, I'm good. Even that, that's also asking for consent before you like, hey, you know what I'm saying? That's. <laughs> but it is a jugger, 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 like you said, right? But sometimes, and sometimes it's very slow. It depends on the music and the song. See, that's the thing. You're too I'm, much with Jamaicans. Come I'm, to the Trinity side. I am from down south. I don't even know what the hell you're talking about. Well, now you know me. <laughs> so now you have to learn. I know Come Camila, on. too. She's from Trinidad. And she's like, mm. and, and, okay. <laughs> I don't know what you just did. Whatever. I don't know what you just did. Stay tuned, guys. And our photo of the week is the cast of Blackish. Looking smashing. Who won the NAACP award for best comedy series? Congratulations, guys. My new dad teaches me all kinds of stuff. I wouldn't use this one. He helps me with my decision making. Ever. And he's even teaching me how to drive. And that's why cars have bumpers. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. Thousands of kids in foster care will take you just as you are. 
Becoming a dad can be tough. No, no, no. What do you mean she's not coming? When's the fairy princess coming? Any minute now. <laughs> but when you're willing to do anything... It is I, Cruz, Zinc or Bell. Yeah. Okay, time for cake. It's always worth it. I know it's really you, Drew. I'm just pretending for the other kids. The smallest moments can have the biggest impact on a child's life. Take time to be a dad today. Call 877-4-DAD-411 or visit fatherhood.gov. So we all need a little motivation from time to time, right? So we're bringing you our motivational quote of the week. And this week it comes from Rakia Mays on LinkedIn. Thank you, Rakia. It says, it's better to look back on life and say, I can't believe I did that, than to look back and say, I wish I had done that. Amen. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes, it is. Thank you so much, Rakia. Keep it coming. And if you do post something, we just might feature it on the show. <laughs> Mom, can we get some ice cream? Please, Mom, please. No, we're having dinner yeah. soon. Please. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of children in foster care who will take you just as you are. Hey, going out like that? Yeah, why? Well, um, what would the neighbors think? <laughs> I see you! Come look at Mr. Feather! Look what I have. Mr. Bird, remember? Bark, bark, bark. We're just playing! We're just playing! I'm trying to get you out of here! Even still. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of teens in foster care who don't need perfection. They need you. The average tax takes your eyes off the road for nearly five seconds. At highway speeds, that's enough time to travel the length of a football field. Stop the texts. Stop the wrecks. And it's a wrap. Our first show of 2018. That's going to do it. For this week's edition of What's the 4 and one your smart source for urban, lifestyle, and entertainment news. Until next week. So this is what we're going to need you guys to do. Like, remember, we're trying to be really interactive. So we need you to follow us on all our social media handles. It's What's the 4 one one TV or What's the 4 one one We have a website, What's the 4 one onecom Hit us up on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Yep. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. And we are going to comment back. We are going to follow back. We're going to have an amazing time time with you guys yes interactive so until next week i'm kizzy cox and on behalf of anika the clean thank you for spending your time with what the 411 wait what about our podcast oh our no. podcast let's talk about our podcast <laughs> if you love what you see here yeah you can hit us up on our podcast which is on itunes and that stitcher yes yes yeah. see you next week Who's got the 411? 411, they got the 411. Who's got the 411? We got the 411. What's the 411? They got the 411. We got the 411. What's the 411? They got the 411. What's the 411? They got the 411. What's the 411? What's the 411?